a ceasefire and the formation of safe corridors for all civilians to evacuate from Ukraine. The regions, including in the claimed ceasefire, are the capital Kiev, hard hit Kharkiv, Sunny and Mariupol. But the local leaders there have cast doubt on the pledge, saying there have been no confirmations of a temporary ceasefire so far. Within hours, the Russian Defence Ministry published a video showing tanks driving along roads in what it said was the Kiev region of Ukraine. Russia calls the campaign it launched on February the 24th a special military operation. It has repeatedly denied attacking civilian areas and says it has no plans to occupy Ukraine. Russia claims that the military will hold fire and open humanitarian corridors in several Ukrainian cities. But according to the RIA News Agency, the corridor from Kiev will lead to Russian ally Belarus and civilians from Kharkiv will only have a corridor leading to Russia. Corridors from Mariupol and Sunni will lead to other Ukrainian cities and then to Russia. Our correspondent Anis Malik is joining us now live from Kiev to bring us the latest update on what's happening on the ground there. Anis, Russia claims it's imposing this ceasefire. Has there be, been any evidence of that so far? Well, the claim of ceasefire has been looked at as if uh, it's a smokescreen uh, here in Ukraine, at least. I'm currently in Kiev, in the capital city of Kiev, and they say that uh, the ceasefire, uh, um, the patterns or the paths that have been given for the ceasefire, for the evacuation, they either lead to Russia or to Belarus, both uh, uh, which are the countries which are actively engaging, as they alleged, which are actively engaging in uh, the action against Ukraine currently, and that uh, citizens won't necessarily be having or in actuality be having a safe passage. Therefore, uh, citizen, the uh, Ukrainian authorities that I've spoken to, they say that uh, uh, if Russia is actually serious for giving uh, a, a way out or a safe passage, then it should be it should be for the entire country and not limited to certain sectors. And Anis, from those that you've spoken to on the ground, how do those civilians feel about this? Of course, they may not want to head to Russia or Belarus, actually to Europe. Have they got any other choice, though? Well, most of the people would want to either go to the western side to Lviv, where I was earlier uh, uh, today and yesterday, uh, and f where we have been reporting for, from for the past four days or so. Uh, and uh, the other half would want to go to the European cities. Uh, not many, in fact, uh, I, I've almost I've come across nobody who would want to go to the Russian or to the Belarusian side uh, by and large. Uh, and uh, uh, there is immense rush uh, of uh, people, a flock of people flocking in at the rail station here in Kiev as well. They're trying to seek a safe passage out of the city as the reports emerged that the Russian tanks are closing in uh, towards, the Kiev, uh, towards the capital city of Kiev. Now I'm standing at the uh, main city square which has literally been fortified by army personnel. They've, uh, uh, they've put up these sandbags, the uh, tires. Uh, there's increased military presence literally at every 100 or 200 meter. And you're asked to give your uh, documentation in order to proceed. That includes your accreditation, your press card. And in case if, you, if you're not a local, if you're a foreign journalist, then they would be requiring your passport as well. And in terms of the military uh, expectation there at the moment, obviously President Vladimir Zelensky has tried to encourage people to continue to fight, to continue to hold off this invasion. Is there still hope there that they can keep Russian troops at bay? Well, there are some gr disgruntled people, uh, mostly who are uh, 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 in their 40s, uh, who say that they do not want to fight alongside the army. Uh, there is a rule that has been introduced that uh, 18 to 60 are, uh, uh, will be considered as volunteers. So uh, uh, it's not really mandatory, but it's unsaid that it, it is mandatory that uh, they have to uh, fight alongside their army. Uh, that has not been received very well. While majority of the people would want 
to fight as a volunteer but making it as an obligation or, or as an obligatory sentence that has been, not been received very well uh, the uh, troops here well they are uh, very enthusiastic they are charged they say that they will be protecting their land at all cost come what may and that is the reason they are out on the roads uh, trying to protect their city uh, against any possible attack or invasion that may take place That, thank you, Anna. Sanis Malik reporting from Kiev live for us there.